Hello everybody and welcome back to Tokyo Dark And we are here at Asakusa Street, I think If I remember correctly Asakusa Street, yes Okay, so we're gonna continue a little bit With E2 to see what else we can discover here The mystery Let's see Inside in the interior of the traditional tea shop but it doesn't look like anyone's been here recently. By octopus balls. Miss, I can see a glimmer in your eyes that tells me you have a hunger. A hunger. A hunger for a second order of my national famous Takoyaki. Who, me? Well, why wouldn't I? You're amazing. Yup, yup. Struggle is real. You think I don't sit here in the presence of my own creations and not want a little taste? No. Of course I do. They're delicious, but the extra time and effort means I don't have as many on hands and have to limit one order per customer. But your only customer. Come on. Just one more taste. Sorry, no can do. There's a reason I set up a quiet spot like this. Otherwise, I sell out in minutes. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Okay, no more octopus balls for me, I guess. <laughs> this looks like the doja I was looking for. Has a very traditional aesthetic. Okay, let's take a look here. Me? Well, my? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. What are you doing here? Did she make you come? It's not like that, Takashi. It was my idea. I asked her to come talk with you, but you sent her away. This woman almost got you killed. You expect me to cooperate with her? Surely, if you need to talk to me, you can come yourself. My sister doesn't need to be involved. No. If I come alone, you just evade all my questions like you always do. Besides, there's something I need you to see. See what? What are you talking about? Where did you get that? Put it away. So, you know what it is. I knew you were hiding something from me. That's not true. I wasn't hiding it. It's not something you ever need to know about. Besides, why is she carrying it in the first place? Wait, don't change the subject. This isn't about Ito. I understand that you're upset with me, but we should talk about this other time. Furthermore, that mask has nothing to do with you. You're wrong. Back in April, when Mei was held at knife point by another girl, it was this mask he was after. A mask your family is connected to. Looking for it. I suppose I've been a fool to think I could keep the truth of our family's past away from you. Past? Does this have to do with... Does this have to do with mom and dad? Yes. And so much more. I first saw that mask when I was a child before you were born. The truth is, it belonged to a cult called Kamenkai, or which our parents were member members. Cult? Are you kidding? How'd your parents get mixed up in that? I know how it sounds. I find it hard to believe myself. They were a group led by a guru named Tokimasa who promised a simpler life away from the hypocr hypocrisy and falseness of city life. Our parents both had master's degrees and my mother was on her own to earning her PhD. They, choose, they chose to give up their lives and their career to follow some mystic and life, live on a compound instead. The common Kai were one of the many such groups back then. I was a child and didn't understand, but thinking about how our parents were deceived and what they put me and my through, it's unfortunate, unforgivable, 
unforgivable. The mask was on the compound, but for what purpose or what they believed it could be, I don't know. Do you think there are any members of Common Kai left who we know? No. You see, there are no surviving members. They died, all of them, including our parents. I'm sorry, I don't remember much about it. One night, Grandma came into the room where we were sleeping, saying we had to go. The compound was in the woods, though it was dark and I could barely see, but she kept charging forward with my in her arms and me dragging behind. When we were back in Tokyo several days later, Grandma told me that our parents were dead. She didn't seem sad. It was as, as if she expected it. The government censored much of what happened, so I was never able to learn how they died. Me and Grandma didn't speak of it, ignoring it as if my childhood and everything that happened in those woods was all a bad dream. If, I weren't, if it weren't for her, we'd probably be dead with our parents, but ignoring it couldn't erase the anger I felt towards them. I wonder if they even care what might happen to us. As a high scholar, I spent more time trying to find out about Common Kai than I did studying. I thought that I could understand with my p why my parents so willingly gave up their lives and abandoned us I'd stop feeling so betrayed. But I was wrong. Nothing I found gave me any peace. Mom and I Mom and Dad died as part of some cult. I I don't believe it. It's true. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I guess that in hiding from you, I was able to hide away my feelings as well. I think for Grandma it was too painful to talk about. I believe she took possession of the shrine in order to live a simpler life. We had to keep it a secret. There's no way we could live in normal lives with stigma of the common guy attached to us. I suppose keeping that secret hurt us both dearly. For me, suing Kendo gave me some measure of control over my life again. But Grandma, who made a choice to leave her only daughter behind, she always seemed to carry the guilt of it with her. Without going out at night babbling about how she was looking for Mom, when she'd come home, she would have rotten stink of her clothes on her clothes. I, I was too scared to confront her, so I tipped off the police. They found her wandering in the sewer, holding nothing but the mask, the same one from the cult compound all those years before, and the one you hold now. I was shocked when they gave it to me. I hadn't seen it for so long, and all the unpleasant memories from my past came flooding back. That was when I decided to leave Kamakura. It was the only way I could move on with my life. That doesn't account for how the mask ended up with your grandmother in the first place. I don't know how she got it. It seemingly appeared out of thin air. Or maybe someone gave it to her. She never said. I left the mask with her. It always made me uneasy. I had a strange aura about it. Wait, wait. Grandma was looking for mom? In the sewers? I don't remember any of this. You were in the dorms. <clears throat> at your school at the time, Grandma's strange behavior was part of why I insisted on you going to those private schools away from Gamakura. I couldn't drag you into the madness of her past. We parted ways without ever speaking of it, and she was much better by the time you returned to Kamakura. Detective, what exactly is it that you're looking for? Surely our family's history isn't of use to you. I assume you heard about what happened to my partner. This mask was there again when he died. It's more than an ornament. I need to know where it came from. If that's true, then I want to help. Your partner? He seemed like a nice person. No, my, you've helped plenty, but I have to do this on my own. Ido is right. I apologize for not telling you all this sooner. But you can't be involved in something so dangerous. I already thought I lost you that day at the shrine. I wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to you now. Alright, thank you for finally telling me the truth, Takashi. I'll head back for now. I hope you remember that I'm your sister. I'm not 
I may not remember the same things you do, but we're still family. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for your help, Mai. You're right, Mai. I'll, I'll come visit you soon. It looks like she's gone. Mai's not here. There's no need to be coy. No doubt, taking possessions of that mask has taken its toll on you. Even in the brief time I was in contact with it, it felt an, I felt an immense darkness behind it. I had such strange dreams and saw things I never would have dreamed of on my own. There was always an unusual air about it that I couldn't stand to be around. Maybe lying to Mai again made me a hypocrite. All I know is I don't want her getting hurt. But like you said, I don't believe that the mask is simply wood and paint. Though I doubt anyone else would believe us. No one ever did. Except for one man. On this street, there's an old tea shop. Perhaps you saw it on the way in. An old historian named... Um, Yashu... Yashu... Isa? Yashu Isa. Is there occasionally. He was the only one who ever acknowledged that I said... What I said about the mask is truth. If you're looking for information on the mask, he may be the best person to ask. I never persuade the topic with him, but I speak with him occasionally on other topics. His mind is a vault of valuable information. Uh, hopefully, he can shed some light on what's really, what it really is. I hope so, but please, detective, be careful. Okay, so we got a little bit more information now it's like it's really expanding right now into direction of a cold it seems wait I can't wait do I have to go back oh wait Inside is the interior of traditional tea shop, but it looks like, yeah, okay, this place then. There we go. Welcome, come in. Do sit down. No need to be so formal and stand there like a statue. How can I help you? Are you Yashuisa? Takashi told me to come speak with you. Oh, and how is Mr. Kawana? Still prickly as ever, I suppose? I've always found him to be wise beyond his years, though perhaps not by choice. I digress, my apologies. It's the quirks that come with old age, you know. What does Mr. Kawana think I can help you with? I'm looking into a few things related to the common Kai, a group his family got mixed up in. Ah, a more difficult answer than you might expect, you see. There are two groups that share that name. The first, as you know, is a religious group formed by the Guru, Tokimasa. Second is an ancient order, over a thousand years old. What's that? What's that you're holding? I was told it's related to the Kamakai, uh, the newer one, and that you could tell me about it. Ah, oh, that explained many things, child. The far off look in your eyes, for one. I imagine you have many, many questions. Masks are interesting, are they not? They are meant to be a disguise, and yet a mask cannot lie or contort itself to hide the truth. In that sense, it is the mask that is more truthful than the human faces we hide underneath them. I wonder how you come to be in possession of an object with such a dark history. I think it might be related to a missing person, but I don't know anything about it beyond that. Ah, uh, but that itself is the essence of history. Layers upon layers of personal connections that are continuously peeled back to their root. Lyrics like the one you hold often take unusual roots to where they end up. Relic? If it's from Kamakai cult from the 90s, then I'd hardly call it a relic. Misguided and deceptive as he was, Tokimasa was no fool. In order to gain new followers, he needed to give his cult histor historical legitimacy. Legim leg I can't even pronounce that word. 
Legit. Legitimacy or something like that? I don't know. Correct me, like, really, please. He collected obscure objects and gave them new meanings that he could control in order to manipulate his followers. The mask was that he chose, along with the name of the group that created it. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Only, I guess I was hoping you could tell me some other things about it. For instance, like why... Mm, now that I'm about to say it out loud, it sounds silly. I'm sorry I bothered you. Don't be silly. You wonder, for example, why holding the masks seems to take you to other place. Or perhaps why you can see visions that don't seem real. Why you feel a strong will exerting itself on you. Ah oh, yes, I know all about those things too. How could you know about that? When Tokimasa Masa was in possession of it, he believed it showed him a path to the realm of the gods. He wrote extensively on the subject. Though unlike most, I don't discount such phenomena as a raving of a madman when the phenomena repeats itself. Do you look do you too look into the inky blackness and see familiar shapes in the shadows? Not shadows, I see and hear people who are supposed to be dead. And I find things I couldn't possibly have found otherwise. Hmm, most interesting. Tell me, detective. Oh, Apologize. Apologies. Do you mind if I call you that? I don't remember you remember telling you I was a detective. Ha! <laughs> My mistake. You must forgive me. A slip of the tongue. I believe it was the way you carried yourself. Determined investigations such as yourself have such a sense of purpose in their mannerism, you see? And you do seem rather determined to get to the bottom of whatever it is you're chasing. Tell me, does me telling you that your experience are not in illusion provide you any level of comfort? And I'm not sure, but I do feel something, maybe hope. It's like I finally got a foothold on solid ground. Ah yes, knowledge is a light in dark places, is it not? To think a relic of such import would end up with a detective. Do you mind if I ask you something? Which do you believe? Are our lives controlled by fate? The measured threats that determine our deeds, our wishes and our ends the minute we come into existence? Or conversely, is our threat subject to chaos inherited in our university instead? Does it change according to our deeds and that which happens to us seamlessly by accident. Do you believe it is fate or chance that decides which threads of life are cut short and which are followed? Wow, okay, that, that was weird that the end of that the conversation ended like that. Uh, I, what? Um... can't really do anything right now I don't know what they want me um. okay it, there's not really anything I can do right now is this a glitch hello I really oh here we go wow I came up much later hmm chance of fate I don't know if this will lead me to different directions in the game itself <sighs> let's call it chance Yes, of course. Maybe you feel your life has been somewhat out of control as of late. Control, huh? 
be honest, I don't feel like I've had much of that since the mask came to me. He said that the mask was made by an old Kamankai. Why? Confusing me can't be the purpose it was made for. Ah, yes, a more complicated answer than you might have wished for. Indeed, it should come as no surprise that the creation of such mysterious objects is equally enigmatic. Perhaps you could do me a favor, don't worry. It is in relation to this very topic. An important book has gone missing from my shop. If you could retrieve it for me, I feel it could shine a great deal of light on the subject. What kind of book? A book of the missing variety. <laughs> I'm sorry, I jest. It concerns the mask bearer. Mask bearer? Huh? That's... Oh, that's me, right? Although you carry it, that does not mean... Does not make you a bearer. All will become clear when the book is returned to me. Sounds easy enough. Where can I start looking? Oh, you mean go far. The man who has it is right outside this building. In fact, all I said, it's not much of an errand, but I, of course, cannot leave my shop. He's right outside? This won't take long. I'll be right back. Okay. So he's, he's outside? What, this guy? The old teapot next door. Isn't that place closed down? Closed? That can't be right. What else do you know about it? Your conjecture on this one. But I think it might be owned by a kendo instructor from the dojo down the street on account of him being the only one I ever see in there. You might not believe me, but I swear I saw him in there chatting away to himself. Possibly, he's a little nuts. And then again, it might be some super awesome kendo meditation technique. Oh man, why didn't I think of that before? Next time, I'll ask him for some pointers instead of spying on him, huh? Word to the grapevine is that he's a regional champion or something, and has trained some of the best. Lots of cops train with him, though, too, so he must be good. Maybe he's not so scary after all. Speaking of which, I have a bit of a crazy question for you. I know you said it was closed, but do you know anything about a book taken from there? Maybe recently? I was led to believe you would. I, um, I, oh jeez. Go on. Like I said, the place has been empty for years, but you know I spend a lot of time outside it. And half the time the door is wide open. So one day, a few months back, I decided to take a look around. Nothing suspicious or any nothing. I was just curious as all. <laughs> hey, curiosity killed the cat, right? Anyway, it was all dusty and old and there was all sorts of weird stuff lying around. So I might have taken a little souvenir. I mean, it wasn't super old or anything, so I figured no one would miss it. Besides, it wasn't for me. It was for my kid brother. That guy can get deep in the dumps sometimes. So I try to be on standby for when that happens, you know? So I figured a little gift would cheer him up. And back then he was going through some particularly tough times. His bitch wife, pardon my language miss, has left him and taken their kid the other with him, with her. He still doesn't talk about it, like he's in denial or something. Whoops, got off track again. I was heading to visit him with the, um, oh, gotten book. When I got this phone call saying he was in the hospital, he OD'd on expensive sake and sleeping pills. Thank God that agent decided to do it at the bar he owns, with the door unlocked. A customer came in and called an ambulance. If it weren't for that, I'm not sure if he'd still be here. That's quite a story. Sounds to me like he wanted to be found. Yeah, I think so too. I think he was trying to ask for help in his own way. In any case, I took the book to him while he was in the hospital. Tried to show him that even when he was at his lowest, there was someone out there trying to do something nice for him, you know? I think it helped for a minute, anyhow. 
As soon as the doctors le let him leave, he went right back to that toxic little bar. I hope he's okay. He's got issues, but he's my little brother, and I worry about him. He's not been answering my phone calls lately. Originally, my brother's bitch ex-wife, sorry again, had a brilliant idea to put his skill to work in a cheap part of town. Despite that, he's holding on to it with everything he's got. The police is slowly bankrupting him, but he won't let it go. All he had to do is sign up some paper and move on, but he can't. Something about it has his claws sank deep into him. I've been trying to get him to join me in my business for years. He's a great chef, and we would make a killing. Maybe it's not the same as owning a whole bar, but serving passers-by and getting some sunshine is good for the soul. Plus, food stands are doing really well abroad, I hear. Much better than wasting away in Shinjuku, at any rate. Shinjuku? Yeah, uh, slimy little side street. Anyway, if that book is important to you, he probably still got it at his place. You want your address? Wait, I knew you looked familiar. Your brother's Dizer, right? You know him? Small world. It was probably the sm smile on my face that threw you off. Tell him his brother Haruto. Haruto says hi. <clears throat> While you're at it, tell him that Takoyaki stands are still the future of cuisine and to get his butt over here. <laughs> I'll do that. Thanks for all your help. Wow, so it's actually the little bar in the... Uh, Shinjuku. It was like all in the beginning again. Okay, so I guess we're gonna travel over there then. Here we go.